Hey everybody, Matt here. Wanted to do a quick video update on one of my chestnut trees that I have in the orchard beside my house. This is a five year old buck four hybrid tree. And when I say hybrid, um, I mean, I uh, grew this tree from nuts gathered from beneath a buck four chestnut tree. However, there were buck threes and buck twos and all kinds of other Dunstan trees and things around in the orchard that I got these nuts from. So, um, it's probably a cross uh, between, you know, the buck four and one of those other trees. It could be another buck four that was close by or it could be a buck three or buck two or whatever. In any event, the buck series of trees are supposed to be bred for their drop times. Buck fours being the latest version of that tree that's supposed to drop into November. Chestnuts usually drop into September, middle September, um, first in uh, October, um, that time frame. A buck four tree is supposed to uh, go all the way into November. Now I think it starts probably mid-October and then finishes in November or something like that. But anyway, which is right prime hunting season here in Texas. So the idea is, is to get some of these trees established for the deer in the area. And this is one of the trees that I've planted in my, in my plot. Uh, I guess you could call it a test plot around my house. So the idea is to uh, get these trees producing and then gather nuts and then plant them down into the deer woods. Hopefully the nuts gathered from these trees will also have the late dropping gene and uh, we'll know, well, we'll know if this tree has the late dropping gene once uh, it produces chestnuts. And I wanted to uh, show this right here. As you can see, there is a burr and it looks like maybe it has been pollinated. So. I'm not the world's foremost expert on chestnuts. You know, obviously I live here in Texas, so we don't have them here. Um, but I'm hoping that the uh, nuts inside that tree are are uh, pollinated. So that could be the first nut or chestnut grown in. I know I, I live in Lamar County, in, in here in, in Northeast Texas. Pretty sure in Lamar County, if not Northeast Texas, maybe. Um, but this tree right here I wanted to show. It's a nice, healthy tree. Of course, I'm keeping it watered. We've had a series of 100-degree uh, days here, and so that you know, keeping them watered is a must. And uh, this tree is a good. I don't know. I'm 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 six two. It's probably at least ten feet, if not taller, and it's and it's five years old. Probably, probably more like 12 feet or so. Um, I've done my best to prune it when it was younger, and I don't know what kind of shape a chestnut's supposed to have, but there you have it. I just kind of wanted to show you my tree and uh, my lone chestnut burr. So there you go. Maybe just maybe there'll be two or three nuts inside that burr that I can collect in another couple of months and then we'll start our second round of experiments hopefully those nuts will be viable I'll be able to plant those and then grow those trees and then five or six years from now they should start producing and uh, We'll know if they drop late or not. So this is all a big experiment and you know it takes a long time to do these things. So anyway, there you go.